Attack on Mika! I'm Taro. I'm unemployed and currently 40 years old. I started high school 25 years ago. Right when I started high school, I was made fun of by my classmates for stuttering when introducing myself to the class. Every day, classmates would mock me and make fun of me. I was so disgusted by them, I decided I wouldn't see or deal with anybody anymore. Ever since then, my house was the only place for me. Oh! As I was chilling at home as always, I experienced pain in my lower back like I've never experienced before. Mom, I can't stand! What? Help me! You don't even exercise. All you do is stay in your room. Of course you're gonna get pain in your lower back. Yeah, I agree. You should have seen this coming. A trash like you who only eats, play games, and sleeps going to a doctor? You gotta be kidding me. You really can't stand? Yeah, I can't. <sighs> I'll lend you a cane, so go see a doctor. She's not gonna come with me just because it's a clinic nearby? This is Nagao's house. It seems so weird to be seen by an old classmate. Hey, it's Taro-chan. Long time no see. Where do you work? Aren't you still living at your parents' place? Single? That's not good. You need to get yourself together so you don't worry your mother. Yeah, you're so pathetic. <laughs> it's none of your guys' business. It's from lack of exercising, Taro. <sighs> You're still stuck inside your parents' house? You're 40 already! You need to live a more decent life. A decent life? You're not employed. Is that decent? So taking after your family business is decent? Anyways, you'll need rehab. You wouldn't understand my feelings. I can stand! You see much better. The police still come to rehab three times a week. Uh... Okay. Thank you for coming. It wasn't a big deal after all. <laughs> Everybody is over-exaggerating saying I'm lacking exercise. <laughs> Guess I'll take a walk for a bit before going home. The town I lived in changed a lot within 25 years. The park, my classmates' house, everything was new. This sushi place. This place used to be a sushi place my grandpa took me to. Now it's a Kai Ten sushi chain restaurant. It's kind of depressing. It feels like all my memories are being erased. So sad. You brought it on yourself. You're trash. You need to live a more decent life. Be quiet. You guys don't understand anything. Shit. It pisses me off. I deserve to at least eat Kai Ten sushi. Welcome. Are you by yourself? Y yes. I'll take you to your seat. This way. Is this your first time here? Yes. When your food comes, the bell will ring, so please take it from the lane. Yes. If you need anything, just press this button to call me. She seems like a really nice girl. Why is he looking at me so much? I guess he'll call me if he needs something. I want to talk to her a little bit more. Yes, coming over now. Are you ready to check out? No, I'm still waiting for my Chu Toro. So sorry. I will bring it over right away. No worries. I'm not in a hurry. Please wait just a little more. <sighs> From that day on, every time I go out for rehab, I eat at the Kaiten Sushi on my way home. And then I eat about 10 plates slowly. I felt like I found another place for me other than home. It'll be weird if I come only when that girl works. So I decided to go even on dates she doesn't work. Though, I get money from my mom. What? He's here again? It's every day. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. How do you know? Welcome. H hello You're off from work today? I hurt my lower back. I just came back from the clinic. Oh no, that seems tough. I hope you get better. Yes, thank you. This time of day is actually not crowded, so no need to rush. Please, take your time. Her words are so warm. I felt kindness from her that I don't usually feel from other people around me. After being able to small talk with her, I found out her name is Mina-san, and that she's in high school, and that she works at this sushi place as a part-time job. Isn't it hard to work after school? I'm getting money for it. Of course it's hard. 
There are different types of customers, and there's a lot of dirty work, too. Dirty? Like cleaning up people's leftovers, or cleaning the toilet. Mina-san, have you helped out with chores around the house? We have a housekeeper who does it all, so... Housekeeper? You must come from a wealthy family. I guess I'm naive, aren't I? I became to realize that the service I was provided with is all thanks to the people who are working like how I am now. I didn't care to understand before, and didn't realize how hard it is to make money. It makes me want to thank my parents even more. She's only a working student, but she's still a great worker. Compared to that, what am I? All I do is make the people around me worry, and only live trying not to hurt my self-esteem. Why am I so pathetic? You're a good girl. Not at all, just trying to get some real-world experience. Mina-san, you're a great girl. That guy! Hey, isn't good eat sushi with other people's money? Sister? We're not gonna give you money other than for the clinic. Make your own money. Yeah, I decided I'm gonna start working part-time. Yeah, at least work part-time. What? Sorry for causing trouble up until now. I was relying too much on you all. Mom, is something wrong with my hearing? No, Taro is saying he's gonna work part-time. All the money I borrowed up until now, I will make sure to work and pay back. Is, is the, the world, world gonna, gonna end, end tomorrow? I found a part-time job that day, and decided to work starting the following day. Now it's not embarrassing to be around her, is how I felt. Hey, old man! Old man? Me? Who else is there? An old man like you hanging around from midday, flirting with a high school girl? Don't you think that's disgusting? Disgusting? What is your reason for coming to this sushi place? To eat sushi, of course. Liar! Your reason is Mina, right? Just because she's a naive girl from a wealthy family, what are you trying to do with her? I'm not trying to do anything. I've aged this much. I think you're misunderstanding something. The conversations I have with her are fun but it's like talking to a daughter. I really go so I can eat sushi. He wouldn't be able to accept the fact that an old guy like me likes a high school girl. It's something other people around will worry about. I understand that too. I understand you're worried, but I have no secret intention. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Because I'm the one that's misleading you. If you're only a customer, then I can't say anything, but... But if you do something weird, I'm gonna ask the store manager to ban you from the restaurant. I'm only a part-time worker, so I don't know if I have the right to say this, but... Yes, I understand. Tarasan, welcome! What's wrong? Um, I'm gonna go on a business trip starting tomorrow, so... I won't be able to come here every day anymore. What? Really? Yeah, it's a bummer since I finally got to familiarize myself with the employees here. It's a bummer for me too, but please come after you get back from your business trip. Yeah, of course. It's a promise. Don't go to other sushi places. Mina-san, sorry. I won't come here anymore. No. I can't come here anymore. It's been a year already since I started coming to this sushi place. From then on, other than working part-time, I started studying for the high school proficiency exam and other qualification exams. My dark, boring life was slowly changing. Dealing with people is still troublesome for me. But I didn't feel like I wanted to run away like before. When I was able to finally find a job with the qualifications I obtained, my family was so happy for me. I will treat you to whatever you like today. Sushi sounds good. If it's Kaiden Sushi, we can go, lol. Kaiden Sushi sounds good, right? Yeah. Shall we go here? I shouldn't bother her. We're not going in? Seems like they're busy. Yeah? Then let's go somewhere else. I love that you are a hard worker. Let's both do our best in our lives.